Thousands of scientists are working together to fully understand the implications of the oil spill. And this is where their work usually begins, in research laboratories that are centers of innovation. It's where long hours are spent searching for answers and making discoveries. Rachel Hoyer has a PhD in marine biology and fisheries. She does her research at the University of Miami. Our research group studies the cardiac impacts of oil on the mahi-mahi, especially looking at the heart. And where my research fits in is taking a look at, a, at this actual cell to, to get a better idea of what's going on. We know that there's something that is causing the heart to have problems with oil exposure. And the bottom line of my particular study, looking at the cells, just one cell at a time, is to understand why that's happening, to get a better idea of what mechanism is causing those impacts that we're seeing. At times, the team's investigation could be a scene out of a science fiction movie. Here we see the still beating heart of a fish isolated from its body. So what do you think? Reality or science fiction? You've probably already guessed, this is cutting edge science. Georgina Cox is a comparative cardiovascular physiologist and a member of the team studying Mahi Mahi. I measure metrics of cardiovascular function to look at how the heart performs um, before oil exposure and after oil exposure. What we've done is we've removed the heart from the animal and cannulated the inputs to the heart and the outputs of the heart. So now we've got control of everything going into the heart and everything coming out of the heart. What's going into the heart right now is physiological saline. This stimulates the blood that's in the fish. So basically the heart doesn't know that it's out of the animal. Now we can measure how the heart is doing in terms of cardiovascular performance. We expose fish to concentrations of oil that were actually measured in the Gulf of Mexico during the spill and then measure cardiovascular function. We've shown that cardiovascular function is compromised um, due to oil exposure. The research team also uses a swim tunnel, which is basically a treadmill for fish, to monitor the metabolic rate and swim performance of mahi-mahi exposed to oil. The scientists discovered that when the fish are exposed to oil, they don't swim as well as unexposed animals. Martin Grossell is a professor of marine biology and the team's lead scientist. We do know that swimming performance is critical for these animals to capture prey, to avoid predation, to perform migrations, and probably also for spawning activities. So the assumption here is that based on what we see in the laboratory with respect to heart function and swim performance, would translate to lower success and survival in the wild of these animals. Without this complete understanding, we do not truly know what's going on. We do not truly know what are the most sensitive indicators of impact by an oil exposure. 